Mayon Hapon from Mayon Tupic, my new barangay, my new home, Negros Oriental, Dawin, Philippines. <laughs> I love the name of my barangay, Mayon Tupic. <laughs> I think there's a free water somewhere, but uh, anyways, uh, in this video, we're gonna have a friend of ours from Cebu come over and we're gonna just chill, relax at home, cook, and probably dive for the next two or three days. So uh, it's gonna be awesome uh, chill time with our new home, which is so awesome. We can invite friends over and they can stay because my house is, uh, wait, we'll go down. My house is four bedrooms. My monkey skills, you wanna go down here? <laughs> Good morning. You got that sense, you know? Yeah. You're not going to shoot any more pen than mine? That's good, man. Let me see you now. This is what we usually do. We go to Aposcupa, rent a tank when we have a friend over to do a local dive. And then we maybe mix it up. We join also Sea Explorers for tomorrow's dive. But we're dropping off tanks. And then we're gonna go to Finbar, get some breakfast. And then we do some diving, I guess. Yeah, we just came back and we turned on a TV for the first time in years. <laughs> we have a Discovery Channel. We have TV! <laughs> yeah. When is the last time you turned on a TV? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This is amazing. We have a we had TV in Cebu oh, City. Not you well, eh? But we never turned it on. Oh, Nat Geo. That's my channel. Nat Geo, guys. Why is there a Korean text? Yeah. There's a Korean text, guys. Yeah. Why? Nat Geo Wild. Keep this on 24 7. If you're in my house, we only play wildlife. No Korean drama here. <laughs> So we're gonna go to Malatapai, do a dive and lunch over there. Uh, bring food yeah, we'll bring you food. And the shipment Sheldon is getting is like a cutter, so we need to cut the still the barrels to make like a um, rinsing station for all the scuba gear. And maybe if we we'll build something in the future, we can use that as well. Is it like a sewing machine? What is it? Jigsaw. Jigsaw. In... No, like this. Ah, not to cut the tree. All right, made it once again to Malatapai. It's a perfect condition right now. Not the flattest, but it's super high tide. It's like tide. So that means the current should be at zero. We had a dive yesterday, which was crazy current. And that was like in the center of going to low tide. And that was pretty much the uh, worst timing to go. So now we have a perfect time frame to jump in there. You ready, Don Don? Yep, yep, yep. Ready? <laughs> ready? Let's gear up and jump in. We jump onto the right side of Malatapai Beats Cafe and I made a small mistake on this dive. I couldn't find the spot I was going to take me to. So always bring your local guide if you're diving for the first couple of times in an area you're unfamiliar with. However, we of course found some beautiful critters. And here's a Sacco Glossa. It's a type of a sap sucking slug called Elysia. However, I couldn't find any pictures of him in my scientific books of identification. 
So perhaps it's a rare one, but I really like his colors and especially his face. You can see the eyes, almost looks like a cow. Well, the eyes are below the rhino force. <laughs> awesome looking guy. And here's a longhorn cowfish. I've seen a couple of these box fishes before, but I think this is my first one for the longhorn. And you can identify him with that because his horns are extra long as well, his tail. And here's a Mora eel. We normally don't film these guys anymore unless there's something special about it. What sets him apart for this shot is that he got a massive shrimps cleaning him up. And you would think they are in great danger. What if the Mora eel eats them? But they don't. They have a mutual relationship, sort of speaking. The shrimps are known to clean some parasites off the eel. Well, the Mora eel is having a spot treatment. So yeah, mutual relationship, I guess. And here's a decorator crab. He is so well decorated that you can barely see him. And of course, we saw a frogfish since it's a frogfish season. This painted frogfish was so small that I put my watch down so you can kind of see the scale of him. Here we have a beautiful ornate ghost pipefish. There's almost not a single dive we pass by these ones. Last critter of the dive is the Xeno crab hanging onto his dear life on a whip coral. Always a bit tricky to film these because it's kind of soft coral bouncing around, so getting the focus is a bit tricky. Really cool, guys. All right, we just came back. I was a mediocre dive. Like I said, I made some mistakes, but that's all good. And everybody is having a small siesta now. But I think there's a rain in the mountains because it's my first time to see the river Brown. Brown River. I wonder how this is going to be in the rainy season. It's definitely going to flood all the way up here. What do you guys reckon? These two have some good walls, good protection. To some degree. Usually this is just like a pond, but not, now it's all brownish. Look at that, guys. It's all brown. Whoa, whoa. Go straight here to the ocean. That's so weird. Apo Island. Hello. <laughs> That's the uh, neighborhood watch. That's the uh, neighborhood watch. <laughs> yeah, you don't cross that bridge without going through these guys. <laughs> yeah, watch out. Watch out for these guys. They have a gun. Okay, and for this dive, we jump into the water right in front of my place. And immediately we see a frogfish. Second critter, this nudibranch. I believe he was discovered in 2018 and doesn't even have a scientific name. So right now, his scientific description, undescribed. But well, here we got a way cool nudibranch. This is the spotted hairs nudibranch. At first, looking online, I couldn't find anything similar to him. So I thought it was maybe my first new species here. It is my goal or dream here in Dawei to find a new species. In my books and searching online, I couldn't find anything in this type of color. So there's a chance it could be a new species, but comment below guys if you have seen it before. Here we got the classic leaf shape, but it's a different species this one. As you can see, it's kind of yellowish in between, but I thought it was a really cool shot. You see all the skeleton shrimp around them. <laughs> I can't imagine being that nudie and having all these shrimps 
crawling, punching, touching you. Must be such a freaky life. <laughs> Well, definitely the coolest nudibranch of the day was this Yamususu Kuthona. He has such a funky looking shape, all these tubes hanging onto his body, but I like to call him the Super Saiyan Dragon Ball Z nudibranch. I mean, it's just like Goku when it's going Super Saiyan, right? Look at all these things. Maybe it's his hair. Really awesome to see this one for the first time, and it was in very shallow, maybe around five, uh, no, around eight meters, eight or ten meters. And the current was really strong, and you can see him kind of hanging onto his dear life, slithering between branches of soft coral. All in all, super fun day with Lee and my friends from Cebu. I'm so happy to have the house that I'm living in right now because hosting them and especially just diving in right in front of it, that in itself is a huge luxury and I can't wait to go back into the water right in front of it and see if we can spot something awesome. So thank you all for watching and see you in the next one. Peace out.